Good afternoon. I am a 85 year old retired university professor and scientist. And uh, at this time in my life, one year ago, I got the shock that I was in the stage three of this disease. And uh, it was rather disappointing the way I found out in that the doctor that I had when my tests first started showing the problem never said a word to me about it. I think people should be careful about that. Uh, because the same thing happened with the new doctor to an extent in that he had asked me to uh, take a uh, lab or get a lab blood lab test and never said anything much about it. But uh, the prescription was where I learned that I had the stage three kidney disease. So I had immediately to find out as much as I could about it and what I might do about it. Uh, neither doctor of mine uh, had any suggestions there and seemed to approach it as if this is just normal for people my age. I think that's very unfortunate and I'm going to uh, warn my friends about that. Um, the changes I immediately made were all dietary. I was trying to make my diet much less acidic. And uh, as a result of uh, the first year of this, uh, during which the information I got from Lee in uh, uh, email chapters that he was forwarding uh, was all I had to work with. And um, I was able in that period to bring the results from uh, a GFR of 45 up to 52. And that has been mainly by uh, reducing the acidity of my diet. And uh, the most difficult part of my dieting has been uh, the trying to avoid meat. And I have to work harder on that. And it's a little bit difficult when you don't live alone. Uh, I know that now that I have Lee's book, I'm going to be spending a lot of time on trying to make sure I can rid as much inflammation from my body as I can. I'll address the albumin uh, details of possibly adding some pills for that. And uh, I need to be clearer as to the proper proteins that I need to use to address that problem. Uh, in the meantime, I've decided that uh, all my friends from now on, instead of hiding my disease, I'm going to talk over the disease with them and warn them that, that you can feel very good and think you're as healthy as possible when this reaches, it, it can get you and it can go to a stage you don't want to be in. And I would say, uh, as you learn about it, it's pretty scary because uh, it looks like a, a one-way street. And yet you do intervene by addressing any of these other issues, particularly starting with the diet, and it does make a difference. And uh, you just have to learn to be comfortable with that and accept that situation. I got Lee's book, and I'm into it very strongly and will be intensely into it for quite a while, I expect. It seems to be very helpful and encouraging. I just love his style. This idea of writing a chapter and then including all the references right there. Mm -hmm. That is very nice as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I'm just so glad I managed to run it, bump into him on the web one day. <laughs> and uh, it is important.